I have Picasso's blue period all over my tongue. And all I do is lick barber poles until they stop being candy canes and start being the glowing electric butt killers that hang out in front of lonely bars in hot provinces. I have a helmet made from dreams rolled flat and lacquered into a carapace that protects me when I rush headlong into stupid, stupid intersections. It doesn't occur to me that there's a shorter way to the destination. I airplane my shopping lists into blue skies that I can't come back from. To say that my heart is a parachute would be accurate. It only opens when it's falling. And it doesn't stop the descent, it only slows it down to make the landing safer. I wish I could get taken away by aliens and brought back a better person. But if you judge a peacock by its ability to explain particle fusion, you will disappoint the roadmap and learn to speak in crutches. So the bed springs of your lips leave me wanting to test the tensile strength of honesty. You bend me like sound waves through a speaker. I'm a frat party balancing on a stool in a closet, and you're the avalanche pinned behind the starting gun. If this is a staring contest, I'm all out of eyes. <laughs> because I'm old. <laughs> Sometimes the ghost of me arrives. I'll be sitting in a coffee shop, hanging out in a bar with friends, even reading a book by myself at home, and there's a feeling I get when I know that that guy, that yesterday me who really knew me, would know how much fun I'm having, and then it makes me sad because now I'm the only person who knows. It's like rocking out to sabotage and then remembering that one of the Beastie Boys is dead. Aww. But this isn't about my sadness or the idea that I'm lonely because I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> it's just that when young me breezes in, it's unexpected. I'm happy to see him, but I feel a little tainted that he chose such good times to show up again. I miss him so much. I miss him to the point that I wish it never been him, but just for a second. He crosses my mind and it's a stroke across my heart from a cold midlife crisis paintbrush. Younger me was a douchebag. <laughs> And I'm trying to be less of one, but I miss his fire. And this is where I live sometimes, at this crossroads of memory and reality, a yearning for a greener grass past that was never actually as good as his present. A place with no complaints department because there were no complaints. I was limber because I was good at limbo. I was weightless because I was good at waiting. Lightning didn't kill me because I was a better conduit than I am now. But my worshiping of who I used to be, romanticizing youth, is a lying, rose-tinted telescope held backwards, making my younger self look farther away than I really am. <laughs>